Hello everyone, the chart guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit and we feel after watching this course it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Checking back in on the shipping sector, Mike sounds a little bit different using a backup for the time being. But the last time we did a video was after the very strong day, the breakout day. And as anticipated, we were looking for a gap up and a sell the gap up scenario. And that's exactly how it played out. And now we're consolidating from that. So here the bulls are looking to form a higher low and the low of this consolidation at this point is 469 so that's a very key support level if it breaks we're looking for another move to the downside and the next clear support would be down at really four dollars psychological so the bulls really want to hold 469 today we had a very tight range forming and the higher open today was another example where the higher open led to selling and we've seen this time and time again ever since the breakout if the stock opens higher we see profit taking that is the pattern and it just didn't occur that one day where we had the short squeeze so more often than not profit taking on the higher open we closed down near the low of the day and we need to see 469 hold resistance is 516 and 530 and the bulls need to break those levels to be heading back to the recent high of 615 bullish macd cross is underway but we have to be confident that a higher low is established in order to incite buying from the bulls again back up towards that 615 level weekly time frame bullish reversal candlestick last week no sign of confirmation this week look how tight that range is three trading days and very very tight range compared to what we saw the week before so no follow through on the bull volume you would have to really break 615 to be looking good for confirmation of this reversal candlestick so at this point it looks pretty unlikely that we are going to get that reversal confirmation glbs also had a gap up and a sell the gap scenario New support here, 551. The bulls need for that to be the higher low. Otherwise, we're heading back to 530 and 5 even. Same scenario, higher open with profit taking and a close near the low of the day. So resistance is 640 and 679. Bulls need to break 679 to break a higher high pattern from here. We are still reaching an equilibrium from the breakout, consolidation low, lower high, higher low, lower high. And now we're getting very, very tight. And it's not as clear on dries. I like it a lot better here on GLBS because of the clarity of that pattern. So I would say a bear break of 551 and a bull break of 640 would have us looking at 679. Weekly time frame, all about the 200 week moving average resistance, rejecting the price time and time again at 766. Bullish reversal doji after a bit of consolidation. And again, no follow through this week for the bulls heading back up towards that 200 week resistance. DCIX also had much more significant profit taking closing down at the low and we have looked to establish a new support level at 296 a double bottom the past two days the difference here on the daily chart today the bulls bought that dip off that double bottom and we didn't see the other two names see that buying off the dip no the other two don't have the lower wick so the bulls definitely showed up today in DCIX more than those other two we've got resistance of 349 and then up to 436 and if we see a break of 296, this double bottom, that is a big red flag for the bulls. If I were in a position, 
that's where my stop loss would be just under that level weekly time frame here back testing and rejecting from the 50 week in the middle bollinger band last week still a green week and trying to confirm this bullish reversal candlestick but obviously we're likely not going to see the kind of momentum we need for a lot of confidence but I'd say the Bulls would be happy if we could close over 336, this middle Bollinger Band resistance, which did re reject the price last week. And last, we've got ESEA with a much higher gap open today and tons of profit taking. So same scenario, but that volume, very notable. The, the, consolidation, lot was, the consolidation volume was very low, which is exactly what the Bulls want to see. But when these market makers open the price that's significantly higher, it's just asking for profit taking. So the lower, the higher low of support is 185. That's the must hold level from here on out. And we now have resistance at 274 along with 292 and 297. Weekly time frame here, upper Bollinger Band resistance. Look at these rejections. And anybody, anybody buying above the upper Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame, in my opinion, doesn't really know how to use charts because you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times now in the past six months where we have been above the upper Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame. By the end of the week, we close below that level. So we know the odds are very, very significantly more likely that the price above the weekly upper Bollinger Band by the end of the week is going to close back below that level. So if you're buying above the upper Bollinger Band, you are likely going to be in the red by the end of the week. That resistance is 259, and it's a very clear pattern at this point. Five of the last six weeks have followed that pattern. So we do have a lot of moving average support here. The bulls are trying to back test and hold, and we will see daily time frames is where to be watching to maintain higher lows. So as we know, the shipping sector has a lot of momentum against it due to the, the massive dump that occurred after the massive run-up. But if I had to choose... I like GLBS the clearest because of that tight pattern and in terms of the most bullish action on the daily time frame. That's a tough one to pick out. I guess I would have to go with either GLBS or ESEA, but more so GLBS. I do like it the best. And it'll be a very clear break when it happens. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.